It's a great pleasure to welcome and introduce our speaker for the second session, Professor Sefiu Taiwo, Ladok Akintola University of Technology, Nigeria, and other participants. Oleren Toyin Sefiu Taiwo was born in Nigeria. He holds Bachelor's of Technology, Computer Engineering, Master's Degree and Doctor of Philosophy in Leadership and Management, and Master's Degree in Information Technology from National Open University of Nigeria. Master of Business Administration, MBA from European Open University, Professional Diploma in Business and Corporate Law from Taraba Business School with 12 years of experience working in the information technology field as instructor team. He's a prolific writer, a teacher, and speaker in conferences, seminars, and workshops. He published 20 international papers with the conference proceedings, an award winner from different countries and organizations. He holds 50 honorary doctorate degrees from different universities and institutes. He received many professional qualifications, namely Certified Network Security Specialist, Fortinet Network Security Expert Certification, CCNA Cybersecurity Operation, Certified Associate in the Python Programming Certification, etc and received many awards and recognitions mandela washington fellowship award best international teacher award instructor years of a service recognition award etc to name few besides a writer and an academician taiwo is good at leadership too sefia taiwo holds a joint appointment as the country representative and director of the World Organization for Peace and Human Rights. World Peace Forum, Peace Ambassador of the Dynamic Peace Rescue Mission International, Honorary Education Ambassador, Moderator, and IIU Conference Committee Member of the International Internship University, India. He is a president of Project Director of 21st Digi Skills and Dean. Faculty of Leadership and Innovation, World University of Leadership and Management. Sefia Toivo's working career started in August 2013. He joined the Institute for Commerce Research and Development in Nigeria as a senior research fellow. And now he is heading the IT and Administration Department of International Internship University. Professionally, he is a fellow of the International Society for Research and Development. Fellow of the Institute of Professional Managers and Administration of Nigeria, Fellow of the Independent Perception and Research Hub, Member of the International Research and Development Institute, Member of the Association for Computing, Computing Machinery, Member of the Institute of Electronics and Electrical Engineers, Member of the International Association of Engineers, Member of the International Association of Computer Science and Information and Technology. Really. Uh, I found it very difficult to, to just read the membership itself, sir. Sefiu Taiwo is a professional technopreneur with over 10 years of high level management experience in telecommunications and non governmental organizations. We are very happy to have you with us, sir. And he's going to enlighten us on the topic the role of information technology in education. A heartfelt welcome to you, sir. Welcome you once again. Thank you, ma'am. May I now invite Dr. Oloran? Uh, thank you, uh, moderator. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank you, everyone. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, Ibu Excellency. Uh, thank you. My The topic for me is the role of information technology in education, the role of information and communication technology in education. This is the era when the world has become a small, smaller place and people are looking to make it smaller. Still, no matter where you look, you can feel effect of technology. This is applicable to the world of education as well. As may be evident 
from the world around. There has, there has been some of significant impact of information and communication technology on education. To say the fact, guns and the those day when the school used to find it hard to keep their records, communicate with all the stakeholders, and to each and everything without facing different problems at all. Things have become easier now, even as the people are becoming smaller and smarter, and still reflect that change as well. Let's check out why information technology is important in education. Why information technology is important in education. One, making life easier for one and all is making life easier for everybody. The main benefit of this information and communication technology in education is it can be make its life a lot of easier for one and all concerned. As a school, you should be able to manage all your administrative okay. activities and the no screen is here. Any problem whatsoever. The biggest benefit is that it is the capable of automating all the processes in a school. In a school. So saving a lot of time and efforts that the administration and other stakeholders can give votes to more fruitful endeavors. This is one of the explanations of the why ICT information and communication technology is important in education. It's making life easier for everybody. Two, acting with the reports. It's helping educators with the reports. To analyze the growth and productivities of the campus, an institution need to manage the monthly reports so that evaluating it, it they can be what? Make the best decision for all the stakeholders. Reports as integral part of the schools, but generating it manually in the shorter span of time is very ethic and difficult. And some people, some pronounce to calculate, some prone to war to calculation error, some even prone to calculation error, mistakes. But using the information and communication technology school staff can easily manage such laborious work in a few hours and provide a deeper insight into each operation so that the schools can take instant actions. This is one of the reasons why information and communication technology is important in education. Another point, making better decisions. Making better decisions. Under this making better decisions, Taking the right decision at the right time is the vital part of every institution. But sometimes, due to lack of technology, it becomes harder for the institute, for the institute to find out that which decision will impact in their institute and which will not. Another one, when the schools are comprehensive information in their kind, then it becomes easier. For them to make faster and better decisions which benefit all the stakeholders of the institution. All these things can be achieved by implementing the right information and communication technology in, in our institution. It helps the school to maintain the reports and evaluate the institute decision, make it more better decision. And in the shorter span of time. Another one, features for all, is the features for all. Why information and communication technology is important in education is feature for all. His school functionality is a, first not every institute is similar. There are always different form in each other in some little way or the other one. 
This is also means that the same technology it is not always going to work for them. They may not need all the organization as to offer all the meaning more. It depends on the stage at which they are working. It's comploted with the features. It probably has all the features that you may be used or may be needed to simplify your institute's operation. For example, this system make it easier for parents and leadership collaborate and communicate with each other via SMS, email, instant notification. It's also easier to perform tasks such as online payments, assignment submission, a progress report of the students, fee management, like want to pay your tuition fee, it's very easy to pay, and many more. For the same time, it also enables the teachers to maintain the attendance sheets, grade book, and timetable in the shorter span of the time. Now, the another one is helping the authority, is helping the authority. Another important information technology in education is helping the what? Authority. Normally, normally, the most thankless job in the school is that of management. Nobody thank you. Nobody thanks you, sorry. Nobody thanks you for a job well done. And, but whatever the, the thing goes, array, the first man will, will crucify you or hang you to dry. This is why the need of the honor. Find a system that works well for the management and help to perform the various tasks the various tasks and responsibilities smoothly and in okay. Another one, the advantages of information and communication technology is that the beneficial for the schools and colleges and universities authority in the sense that they can keep tasks on the team such as timetable, scheduling, and attendance within the schools. Things such as online assignments examinations can be conducted with a great with a great, greater degree of smoothness and efficiency there are separate logon login sorry access features for the following individuals number one teachers not teaching staff students parents member of the schools or college management another one which is communication related assistance communicated Communication, sorry, communication related assistance. One of the basic functions of being played by the technology in the today world is that it has made it has made a communication a lot of easier than what is used in earlier. Communication is a part, is an important part of the school as well. In these days and age, it has become easier for people in the school to get in touch with each other as and when it may be needed. Information and communication technology can be as significantly as well as it comes with internal messaging system that can be integrated with testing, email, which is electronic, electronic, electronic mail, and such other external tools of communication. This, may, this means that students can get in touch with teachers in case they need to get the clarity for some area when they have when they have doubts or when there's some uh, what's it called any other thing that maybe they don't understand. Teacher, in case they need them to get the clarity of some areas where they have the doubt, uh, doubts, and teachers can also con contact students if they need to arrive. Similarly, contact can be also be established between the parents and teacher and vice versa. And parents and management are also, they can have the interaction through the use of information and communication technology. The best part of all this is, is that these are just a few angles of communication that we are talking about over here. 
the application hours are limited. Value for money. Value for money. That's another importance of information and communication technology in education. The biggest boom of the introduction of information and communication technology in education has been the way it has the created products such as Padina that can provide the value for money. The quality of these education software tools can be judged by the fact that it's used more than 4,000 schools and colleges, even in Nigeria in at least 200 countries in the world, they are using it. It is available in 20 languages, including some very prominent ones, such as Spanish, French, English, Dutch, German, Portuguese, Russian, Italian, Turkish, to mention, etc. It comes with a wide range of modules that are available on the basis of, of the plan that you, you are buying. Their names as core modules, pro modules, pro plus modules, enterprises modules, learning modules. Apart from all this, readiness also come out with Android and iOS app. This means that you can always have a Padena which you and use it as when you have it. So it cannot get any better than what you now like this. You can use Android, you can use iOS. Um, so these are the things that we need if you want to improve ourselves on information and communication technology. It's very easy and it's very good to inculcate and to apply these things in our schools. When the school used to find it hard to keep their records and communications, when the schools find it hard, we told the stakeholders and do each other, do each and everything without facing any different problem at all. These things have become easier. Now, even as people are becoming smarter and school reflects that change as well. Before, when we are in schools, in the holding days, we normally write our report sheet on the paper. Now, the reverse is the case. What you are going to do is that you check your result online, check everything, anything that you want to do, you do it online. You do it. So thank you very much. If there's any questions, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for having me. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our dear participants, you can ask your questions now. Thank you. Yeah. This is Ashwani Kumar. Yes, thank you. Any any questions? Uh, Professor Isha Kwani, you can unmute and ask your question. So how can communication and technology help us to take uh, right decision at the right time? Can you explain? Yeah. 
I don't get your question. Please, can you repeat your question? Can you repeat your question? Hello? Yeah, I can't get your question clearly, please. Hello? Uh, so what's question, your question? Yeah. The question was, how does uh, okay, what's your question? technology help in right decision making? Shushya? I don't get you. Uh, sir, am Hello? I audible? Okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing you now. I'm hearing you now. How does technology help yes. in right decision making? That was the question. Decision making. Yes. Information and communication technology can help us in right decision making. Like, for instance, now, if you have some things that maybe you are thinking of or you have, have some plan. So you can use many information gadgets, many ICT gadgets for your decision making. You can go to online, you can sort different materials or anything that you want to need. You can get it online. You can get it anywhere, anything. You can get it. You can get all those things and put it together to come up with something reasonable. Hello? Hello? Yes, Hello? so we can hear you. We can hear so you. So that is the beauty of, beauty of technology. That is the beauty of IT. That is the beauty of it. So IT rule the world. Anything that you want to do in this world is pertaining to information and communication technology. Anything. So we have what you call internet of everything. Anything that you, anything in this world, we have internet of it. We have information and communication technology for it. So thank you. Any other question, please? Participants, any other question? Any other question? Any other question, please? Question, please. Question? Question? Uh, I think there are no more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I take this opportunity to thank our resource person, Dr. Olorantui Shefio Taiwo, for his presentation on the role of information technology in education. Sir showed us how information and communication technology is useful to teachers, students, and parents. He also mentioned that the world has become smaller and we are making it even more smaller through technology. And this virtual faculty development program is yet another example that the world has become small, is becoming smaller and smaller. Thank you so much, sir, for your presentation. Uh, Professor Candy, could you mute your microphone? Professor Candy? Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I now invite Ms. Karpakam P to deliver the oath of thanks. Thank you, Mona Priya. I'm very much delighted to propose the oath of thanks for today's session. I'd like to express my thanks to Dr. Fides Del Castillo for the wonderful session on doing research and publishing in high impact journals. We are fortunate enough to gain treasure in the, in the form of knowledge sharing. We have learned the nuances of publishing and finding out higher impact journals. And she has rightly said that the research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. Sure, this will be helpful to each and everyone. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your valuable time. And I would like to convey my sincere thanks to Dr. Saifu Taiwo for the informative session on the role of information technology in education. The session made us aware about the nuances of technology in education. So most of us are aware of technology and using it in teaching and learning. This session gave an opportunity to learn more about the new methods in communication and also in decision making, how to use technology in communication and decision making. Thank you very much, sir, for your informative session. 
My sincere thanks to Dr. Regine Silvest and the organizing committee for lending a supportive hand by collaborating with us to organize the international one week FGP. I register my thanks to the program coordinators for their presence today. My heartfelt thanks to the co convener, Ms. Monapriya, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Shift, to one session, Jane College, the heads and the faculty members of both the shifts for their efforts to continue the FGP successfully.